Welcome back friends, it's Anders. Today we are making four summer smashes. A while back we did a video on the whiskey smash and in the comments a lot of you told me the smashes that you were making. They all sounded great and that got me thinking, why don't we make a video with a few different smash recipes all following the same smash formula and see what happens. So here's the deal. Each one of these are gonna use a different sweetener, a different herb, a different base spirit. So stick with me. This is going to be fun. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for more sips, tips, and recipes. And let's go make four summer smashes to the bar. Today's video is sponsored by Bespoke Post. I've mentioned their products in the past and I'm here today to talk about the Bespoke Post shop. The shop is a treasure trove of great gear from small brands you may not have heard of yet. And they're all committed to quality and craftsmanship. Many of these small businesses are based right here in the US and new products go up on the site every week. This is the Magnetic Knife Block by Marcelin, available on the Bespoke Post shop. This Magnetic Knife Block is made from matte acacia wood and industrial strength neodymium magnets. That's a mouthful, neodymium. Now what I really like about it is there's two sides and it holds up to seven knives on each side. That's 14 knives. I do not own 14 knives, but now I have a reason to get a few more. Before, I never knew what to do with my knives when I was cooking, but now I do. To get your very own magnetic knife block, support the channel and support small businesses, click the link in the description down below or go to bespokepost.com slash Anders. Check out their shop. They got a lot of really cool things. <laughs> okay, sorry. Okay. Thank you, Bespoke Post. On to the film. All right, first on the list, we have the Bourbon Blackberry Smash. Now there is another whiskey blackberry smash known as the Sir William Smash, and it's a great cocktail. It's made with scotch, uh, but I'm going with bourbon. I'm also using a different sweetener. So if you like the Sir William Smash, give this one a try. Now, before we jump in, I have already prepped my lemons. Each one of these cocktails is gonna call for about half a lemon. I've cut them up into smaller pieces because it's easier to muddle. I've removed any seeds and excess pith. Now to make the bourbon blackberry smash, grab the smaller of the two tins, that's the cheater tin, and I like using that one for the muddling. To it, add half a lemon, four blackberries, and three quarters of an ounce of maple syrup. Muddle it up. This is gonna get the juices out of the lemon and the blackberries and the oils out of the lemon peel. Now in the large tin, add six to eight mint leaves, two ounces of bourbon, and we can add ice and shake. The shaking is gonna extract the flavors from the mint. If you do want a stronger mint flavor, you can muddle that in with the fruit. Double strain over an ice lump in a double rocks glass. If you have cubes, that's fine. Garnish with a big sprig of mint and a blackberry. There we have the bourbon blackberry smash. Cheers. Mm. The maple syrup with the bourbon is outstanding. It has the, this fruity maple uh, woodiness that is really nice and it's, it's bright because of the lemon. This is perfect for summer. What a great start. Let's move on to the next one. The second is the rum strawberry basil smash. The gin basil smash is a very popular cocktail and it's very good. A long time ago, I thought I invented it. I did not. But this one, with the basil, I'm using Jamaican rum, and I'm gonna add in a little bit of strawberry. It's gonna be a bright color. So to make this smash, once again in a cheater tin, add half a lemon, cut up, two strawberries. If you have really small strawberries, maybe four, you be the judge. We are going to add half an ounce of a rich Demerara syrup, muddle that up. Now in the large shaking tin, we can add eight to 10 basil leaves. I like a good amount here, and two ounces of Jamaican rum. Add ice and shake, double strain onto your ice, and garnish with basil, and some strawberries. The rum strawberry basil smash. Cheers. How can you not like that one? Bright, fruity. The Jamaican rum, I think, is the key ingredient here. You get this unexpected funkiness. Would it work with gin? Absolutely. Would it work with whiskey? Of course. But with the rum, I do feel like it is something special. The basil is subtle. So if you want a stronger basil flavor, add a few more leaves or muddle that in with the fruit. You will probably extract more of that green color. On to the third one. This is the blueberry thyme smash. Blueberry thyme smash. Yeah, that's what we'll call it. If you have better names for these, leave a comment down below. We're gonna use gin as the base spirit. So once again, in that cheater tin, start with half a lemon and we are gonna add a good amount of blueberries because blueberries are rather light in flavor. I would say, uh, I don't know, 15 blueberries, but I didn't count. Just a small handful. Add three quarters of an ounce of a semi-rich simple syrup. This is one and a half parts sugar to one part water. Muddle that up, set that aside, and in the larger tin, add four to six sprigs of thyme and two ounces of your favorite gin. Add ice and shake. Be careful, maybe don't wear a white shirt when you're doing this. Double strain, 
garnish with a little bundle of thyme. You can put them together with a little clip, drop that in, and a few blueberries. There we have the blueberry thyme smash. Cheers. Well, this one is probably my favorite color. Mmm, mmm. That one is really tasty. I would say better too many blueberries than too little. That lemon's a prominent flavor, the gin is a bold flavor, and so you want to taste the blueberries. Now the thyme, just a little bit, and, and you get it. Mm. Needs a better name. Other than that, it's great. The fourth and final smash is a peach and sage smash, and we are using tequila as the base. So once again, in your shaking tin, half a lemon, and add one small ripe peach chopped up into small pieces. If you have a large peach, you may be able to get away with half of it. Add half an ounce of light agave nectar, muddle it up in the large shaking tin, eight to 10 sage leaves. Sage can be pretty mild, so you can go heavy with the sage, and two ounces of a reposado tequila. Add ice and shake, strain it off, garnish with sage. Sage is tricky to work with because it wants to flop over and look, look dead. But garnish it with some sage and some peaches. There we have the peach and sage smash. Cheers. Mm, that one's really nice. That one's really soft. The peach is subtle. The tequila is really nice. It's an undertone. A little bit of sweetness and a bit of brightness. The sage gives it kind of like the thyme. You get the savory element. That's really, really good. If you have a really sweet peach, you may find that you prefer half the agave nectar that I used. Entirely up to you. So there we have four beautiful cocktails. We've got a wide assortment. And I am here to say that the Smash is a winning formula. Give these a try. Let me know in the comments down below which one you are gonna make. Feel free to swap out herbs, fruits, base spirits, discover something new, adjust to your tastes accordingly. Have fun with it. Thank you for watching. Thank you Bespoke Post for sponsoring today's film. Don't forget your merch. Link in the description down below. I will see you next time. Cheers.